Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint Rose of Sharon with watercolor on rice paper. This is what Rose of Sharon looks like. It's Korea's national flower too. This flower has five petals and has many stamens from a tall style in the middle. When I flip over the flower, I see two different kinds of sepals. Upper one has a flower petal shape and lower one has a pointy shape and the leaf comes out from the stem and leaf looks like this for the flower painting I prepared the watery pink and little thicker consistency dark purplish red which is like magenta I wet my brush with the clean water first and control the water from the brush I load my brush with a watery pink and pick up dark purplish red with the tip of my brush then my brush is ready to paint I have rough sketch underneath of the rice paper I'm going to start the paint with this flower I'm just laying my brush on the petal and roll I just washed my brush again and load my brush with the two tones of a pink there's a stamens at the center of the flower so I'm drawing petals around the stamens this one didn't show enough a dark magenta so I'm adding it separately I got clean water, watery pink, and dark magenta in one brush and it appears as a highlight, mid-tone, and shading If the flower petal is too big for one brush stroke, I can break it too and paint. The paper stays wet pretty long time, so additional brush stroke will blend together really well. When I paint petal, I'm giving little space to each petal, so even though they bleed, it wouldn't turn into one block of a petal. That's my next flower. I load my brush with the flower color and place it on the petal spot. This one is facing the top left. I left some spots empty because I want to make some petals bend over toward me. Those empty spots will be the top surface of the petals. Some flower shows a side view and some are flower buds. I see dark lines on the petals, so I'm opening my brush crystal 
and draw lines. I see greens in there. Now it's time for lips and stem. I load my brush with a light green first and then add a dark green with the tip of the brush and make a lip shape. I think I can add more flowers here. I finished placing my focal point of this painting, so from this point, I'm focusing on filling up space. The rice paper holds the paint really well. I can use watered down paint and draw over the bottom layer without hurting the bottom layer. It's very handy if I want to have some background leaf silhouette.
The rice paper absorbs a lot of paint and water, so the color gets lighter after it gets dry. So if I add another layer now, I can save some color saturations. I'm adding some highlight with a thick consistency paint. That way, highlight stays on top of the wet surface. I'm drawing dots on the stem end with the shading color first. I'm adding highlights on the petals with a thick consistency white too. And I'm adding highlights on the stamens. Adding some shadings too. Thank you. 
and splashing some oranges. I think it's done. Thank you for watching my video. 